everyone, I'm Matt with TX Arms. Today I'm going to show you how to line up dimple and install a gas block on your AR-15 barrel. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the SLR dimpling jig. There's two sides. There's the top side and the bottom side. Uh, I'm only going to do one dimple on these because uh, other gas blocks come in different sizes. So if they ever want to change a gas block in the future, these sizes may be different. However, that one is always directly opposite of the gas port. So I'm going to use a 3 16th, um, show you the inside of this jig here, 3 16th uh, hex key. And you'll see that very fine point uh, at the end of this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this jig to find the gas port on our barrel. And Just kind of loosen and tighten until you can feel it. So right there, it's just starting to get locked into the gas, uh, the gas port. So I'm just going to tighten this one down, wiggling it back and forth, making sure that it's all nice and tight uh, as we're going down and that it's staying centered. So now I know that this jig is lined up on that gas port, which means 180 degrees. This is where we're going to be drilling for the center directly opposite, which will correlate with this screw right here. So I'm going to need a sharp 532nd drill bit. I also use a stopping collar and a washer to kind of help set the gauge, the depth for that. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen this collar up. I'm going to put this washer. Down. I'm going to let that drill bit touch the barrel and then right on top of that washer this is how we're going to set the gauge set that depth so that we don't over drill this is definitely something if you're not comfortable with doing it um, do not try this at home because you do have the risk of damaging your barrel if you do this incorrectly So that looks good. Don't need my washer on this. And our collar is now set to the correct depth. I'm just going to go ahead and chuck that up into the drill. Use a few dots of uh, CLP to kind of help lubricate it. And then we're just going to go down. And that's it. Use a brush, get rid of these metal flakes. We can back this off and pull out our set screw on the top. And then when we spin this over, now we've got a dimpled barrel that we know is perfectly set 180 degrees from where it's supposed to be. Uh, now we can go in with the rest of this and go ahead and pull these off. Make sure when you are installing the gas block that you're using the correct screws. You can see these are knurled down at the bottom. This is a one-time screw. So you do not reuse these once they touch the barrel. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything is lined up. So this should be opposite here. I'm going to slide my barrel over. And using a other set screw that's been used before, I'm just going to set this down in. And we'll use that to kind of help. Same way, you'll see now it's caught inside that channel that we made. And then you can just tighten it down. And I know that that is now perfectly aligned on that gas block. And then I'm going to go through and check everything because this is also a Ballistic Advantage Hanson barrel, which is drilled um, for a pin that we'll put in as well. But I want to make sure that everything's nice and lined up and kosher um, and that it all looks good. And then just double check. We are, in fact, hitting the center 
of that set screw hole. So that's where it was. That looks perfect. So everything looks like it's lined up nice and well. And I know if I've got this one screw dimpled, that both are going to be set. So that's good. Everything else looks good. I like the way it fits. So I'm going to go ahead and undo everything because we're going to degrease it because we are going to use some Loctite on it. So I'm going to use a little bit of gun scrubber just down inside of here to degrease those holes. A little bit here on the barrel just to make sure we've got a good bond with our uh, our Loctite and then go ahead line this back up and this is again the same set screw that I've been using back and forth remember these are one-time set screws so this is not the one that's going to be installed I'm just using this for that final lineup and you can feel it start to line up in that hole Kind of shimmy it back and forth as you tighten it down. And now we've got that perfect alignment. Double check one last time. That all looks good. And I'm going to come into over here. I'm going to use a little bit of red Loctite. And these are our new screws. Maybe a touch too much Loctite on there. I'm going to dab just a little bit of that off. There it goes. I'm going to feed that into the back side here, all the way down. And then our gas screws are going to get torqued to 25 inch pounds with Loctite. So I've got my Torque set up to 25 inch pounds. And we've got that set. 25 inch pounds. And I'm going to back off this front one. And we're going to install this fresh knurled screw on the rear. So 25 inch pounds actually came originally from, uh, the first person I heard that from was uh, Mike at Sons of Liberty. Um, took an armor's course with him and they went through and did some testing and found that anything over 25 inch pounds actually when they were measuring the barrels with very very specific gauges anything over 25 inch pounds started to deform the inside of that barrel started to deform the inside of that barrel and would cause irregularities inside of that barrel um, and would start to degrade accuracy. So uh, 25 inch pounds and red Loctite is what they use. You could also use some rock set and torque to 20 inch pounds. Um, I elect for the red Loctite on here. But that's how we're going to install our gas block straight. And then I'm just going to finish it off with the roll pin since this is a pin block. And I'm also going to use a little bit of grease on this roll pin because we always grease all of our roll pins when it's going into the holes. I'm just going to line that up. 
grab my hammer. Start tapping that in. almost all the way in and I can grab my finishing punch and center that up the west the rest of the way through and now we have an installed lined up gas block and then we can just go ahead install of our gas tube and we're done and ready to go thanks for watching stay safe we'll see you next time